power from the power unit rotates the crankshaft. One complete rotation of the crankshaft is called a stroke. When the beam moves the sucker rod upward, it's called an upstroke. And when the sucker rod is moved downward, the movement is called a downstroke. So, as the crankshaft rotates, the beam seesaws up and down. Okay, let's look at what the beam pumping unit is doing. On the upstroke, the beam lifts, in essence, two different quantities of weight. The weight of the sucker rods and the weight of the fluid being pumped up and out. On the downstroke, the only weight on the beam is the weight of the sucker rod string itself. These pieces of information, the weight of the sucker rod string and the weight of the fluid being removed, are important to consider when a pumping unit is sized for an application. To counterbalance the weight of the sucker rod string, we use a counterbalancing system, in this case a physical weight, that is somewhat less than the weight of the sucker rod string. The power produced by the power source must be transmitted from the source to the gearbox. This is accomplished by using belts. One or more belts move around shivs or pulleys mounted on the prime mover and gearbox shafts. Since the speed of the prime mover is much faster than is needed to move the sucker rod string up and down, speed reduction is necessary. Different sized shivs reduce the speed of the prime mover. The smaller shiv is mounted on the prime mover and the larger shiv is mounted on the gearbox shaft. Depending on the particular ratio of sizes, the smaller shiv will make about 20 rotations for each rotation of the larger. V-belts are used because they have a greater contact area than flat belts. The friction developed by this greater contact area provides better power transmission from shiv to shiv. But to maintain this efficiently, the belt must be adjusted to its proper tension. Also for safety, the belts and shivs should always be covered by a guard. If the guard is removed, the moving belt and shivs can cause serious injury. Finally, efficient operation of the beam pumping units relies upon proper lubrication of the critical moving parts. The saddle bearing and equalizer bearing carry the heaviest part of the load and usually have to be lubricated with bearing grease. The gears in the gearbox are lubricated by oil splashed from the bottom of the box. However, care must be taken to keep water out of the oil so that the gears don't corrode. The wrist pin bearings come with sealed grease reservoirs and easy access grease fittings.